boundary disputes can arise from various situations. For example, somewhere uh, a person has decided to build along the boundary wall and has inadvertently encroached onto your land. These are similar scenarios which happen or where somebody has taken control over your land, uh, for example, is dealing with your lawn and cutting it, treating your lawn as, your own, as their own, and as a consequence of that, uh, they then assert ownership. Boundary disputes uh, can arise in many circumstances, as I've indicated, but more importantly, they are costly, they can be very expensive because you're going to need to use experts. Quick and easy way to resolve that would be through alternative dispute resolution, where the parties sit around a table uh, with their respective uh, lawyers and through a third party, which could be a mediator, and that mediator uh, may be experienced in um, surveying, doesn't necessarily have to be a lawyer, uh, to reach a reasonable conclusion about the extent of the boundary, whether or not there has been encroachment. It's a quick and easy way of getting a resolution. Uh, and the courts now encourage parties um, in all uh, types of uh, litigation, including boundary disputes, to resolve disputes through alternative methods and that um, is the way forward in the modern era of litigation. There, there are other options that are available um, through boundary disputes. Sometimes um, uh, there are cases where you may need to use a land surveyor where there's been historical encroachment. Uh, the, the need of experts, experts would govern the way, the extent of the, uh, the encroachment because you will need to commission a surveyor uh, who has land experience to, to say, well, this boundary um, has been encroached and by a certain percentage, the, the extent of the encroachment. Um, there are principles where the court will look at triviality and say, well, the encroachment is so minimal that it would be ineffective uh, or not cost effective to proceed with that litigation. But litigation um, is a last resort, but it, it can be very expensive. Uh, it can be ver a lot of man hours involved, which would of course include looking at historical deeds, looking at historical conveyances, uh, look at going to the site itself, meeting with experts on site, so it can be an expensive exercise uh, if you undertake litigation. Mm -hmm.